Welcome to 334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I wanted to make a video of PWMs. Uh, this is a very, very popular topic. Um, people want to know what a PWM is, how it works, what do you get in the box, they're, they're confused on it, how do you hook them up. Let's cover that today. I've got two of what I consider the most popular PWMs on Amazon. This is the 60 amp PWM. Uh, this one runs about $27. Um, it does handle most of your, I would say, 30 pound thrust trolling motors, 45 pound thrust trolling motors. Um, they carry about a 30 amp draw. This is double that, which is a good rule of thumb. Try to double your amp that your trolling motor holds. This is the 100 amp PWM. Now this one comes with a fan pre-built on the, on the board. Um, this one handles Pretty much every trolling motor there is out there, this one to handle, this is a 100 amp. Uh, this is an absolute great PWM. The price is $57 for this. So if you can't afford this, at least go with the 60 amp. Um, I have some project boxes here. This is my, this is my box here that I use. Um, I'll show you how I have mine mounted down inside my box. Um, this is one that I have new here. Uh, which I'm going to show how to cut the holes out and stuff in a later video. Uh, but right now, let's open this up. Let me show you what you get inside of it. This is a PWM. Only thing you get inside of it, uh, this is your variable speed control. You get a two-way switch for your forward and reverse. You get a little small meter right here. Uh, that way when you have your variable speed control on, it gives you your percentage of if you're at 5%, 10%, so on and so forth from zero to 100. You have four hookups right here. And as you can see, it tells you, this is your motor negative and motor positive. This is your uh, battery positive and battery negative. That is all you hook up to a PWM is just four wires. Um, when you take the head off of a trolling motor, which I have a trolling motor here that I have the head off of, you get four wires out of the top. Um, the yellow and the white, you don't need no more. You only need the motor positive and motor negative, which is your big uh, 10 gauge wires that comes out of it, um, which I'll show you that in just a second. Let me get the camera down. Uh, I've got a battery out here. I have the trolling motor here. We're gonna hook up this PWM here. Um, that way you can see how you hook this up and what it does to the motor here. Um, then I'll show you how I put it in my box just to give you an idea. Uh, I've got another box out here that I've used before. There's a variety of boxes that you can put this in. Um, we'll go over a few of them. And also, let me get the camera down, show you how to hook this up real quick like. Uh, that way people can understand it a little better. Okay guys, this is a trolling motor. Now I've made a video on taking the head off of a trolling motor and cutting the shaft down, but these are your four wires that you get out the top. You get a yellow and a white, which you do not need these anymore. You only need your motor positive and motor negative wires. Uh, as you can see, there's a big difference in the size of these. Um, so the only thing, like I said, that you're gonna need is your motor positive and motor negative which is going to go your motor positive and motor negative uh, motor positive is going to be your red and black or your solid red your negative is going to be your solid black um, that's on most trolling motors if it's not then uh, you just want to check with your trolling motor and make sure you have your motor positive and motor negative i'm going to get these two hooked up right here where it says motor positive and motor negative we're going to hook these two up real quick um, let me do that. Hang on just a second. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the motor positive and the motor negative hooked up. Um, that is all you hook up straight to the trolling motor here. So when you troll a motor, like I said, you can get rid of these, but from your trolling motor, 
That's all you're going to hook up is a motor positive and motor negative. Now let's look up the uh, hook up the battery positive and the battery negative, which is self-explanatory. Battery positive and battery negative. So let me get these two hooked up real quick, like. Okay guys, I've got it hooked up here. As you can see, I've got two wires here, which is my power positive and power negative. The only thing you do with these two wires right here is they go to your battery, to your battery positive and your battery negative. I have my motor negative and my motor positive here, which you can see these two wires here is the two that comes out the top side of your trolling motor there. That is it. And then you get a, you have your forward and reverse switch here, and you have a variable speed control here. If you turn on your, I believe this is forward, and then your variable speed control, your meter will pop up. Let me get a turn where you can see here. We're at, you can see it there. I can't even see it. That's 100% of power running it. Let's slow it back down some. There's 19% power. As you can see, it's going super, super slow. If we turn it on down to right there at 12% of power, it's barely turning it. Um, if you flip your switch over, Going in reverse. And crank it on up some. There's 100% of power. And you can just, like I said, you can control all the way down. Now this is an old trolling motor here. Uh, the brushes is going out in the motor. Um, so, like I said, it's just an old trolling motor that I got. But this is how a PWM works. That is all you do. Um, now, as you can see, this is just a, a shell that is holding the board down there. This has to go in a box. Um, you can get a box like I got, which is just a, it's just this, it's just a solid black project box um, that I've already cut the holes out of for my switch and for my varial uh, speed control i have my cables in the end right here where i hook it up at um, and that's what mine sits in so i'll uh, let me get mine back in here and i'll show you how my box is um, i've got a couple other boxes here also you can use a this is a this is a handgun box that I had laying around. Um, you can put the holes in it and you can set this inside of there. Uh, I mean, it's, you can put them into anything that you want, uh, any kind of box that you want to put them in uh, that this cage will fit into. So let me, uh, let me get everything disconnected and get it back into my box right here and uh, I'll show you how I mount it down. Okay guys, I got my PWM back inside my box. I have it wired down here. Uh, these are just some of my SE, uh, SAE connectors uh, for my quick disconnects that I have. Uh, 
which I'm fixing to go put it back on my kayak and you'll see, but uh, the PWM is mounted inside the box. I have the variable speed control and the switch run through the cap of my box. And this just comes back over and I got to run my four screws through it. But this is my box that I have. This is just a, a project box. There's my two bolts that I hold my PWM in with inside there. Uh, that just keeps it from moving that way whenever I've got the box and shaking it. Nothing really moves inside there. Um, I got to take it over here and get it screwed back down on side of my kayak. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the, on the side of mine. But like I said, this is just a regular project box. Uh, I have an extra one here. This is just a regular little project box, which I'll link the subscription. Let me tear this plastic off here and open this up. See, this is just a regular little project box that you can buy. I'll link the description of what size I bought because your, your PD, uh, PWMs do fit good inside this box. You can make a out of ammo boxes or uh, there's little containers you can buy at Walmart. There's all kind of things that you can buy. Let me go get this mounted back on the side of my kayak and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is it mounted back on the side of my kayak. I've got it bolted back down in this place. As you can see, I got two quick connects here that get plugged back into it. So let me get these plugged back in. Let me make sure all my switches is off. There you are. Get this one right here plugged back in. That is my two quick connect switches. I have it bolted back down to the side. Now all I do is just flip my top over, like so, and it sits right beside my seat here. Um, let me throw my, I got four bolts here. Seven bolts, four screws. Let me get these screwed down in there. Guys, I hope this video has helped you understand how to hook up a PWM and how it works. Um, if you found the video useful, please like it. Um, if you will, subscribe to my channel. I have more videos to come. My next video up is gonna be showing how to do the cutouts for a PWM in that new box. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.